holds as a valuable and, and holds as its own real existence. So this is the end of that which believes it knows that it exists. It's colossal. I mean... So you only know about your ego? I don't know. Because you know, know. I don't know. I don't, there isn't anything here that knows. All there is, is what is. There isn't something that knows what is. There isn't something that's aware of what is. There isn't something that's conscious enough of what is. There's simply what is. But not totally in, in this respect. Um, there wasn't totally before. And no, there totally wasn't. No, there was, never was a totally. There's nobody in this room. There's no reports in this room. There may be people that believe they have it before, but there's no report. But then what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> the me that was appearing out of no thing, the Tony Parsons that appeared out of no thing, was both real and unreal. But the idea that it was real part of the illusion of Tony Parsons that just collapsed. The me, the sense of there being a me collapsed. But it was never there.
If I may add something from my experience, uh, there's also the, the point that the ego may grasp this kind of limbo feeling and, and pretends to having a depression or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> or, oh shit, what happens to me? And yeah. this is even more worse because it, it, it's trying to make out of a story out of it yeah. again. And,
No. 
But um, I knew um, when I go to sleep now, everything can happen. And I don't know how I will wake up in the next day. Uh, Normally when I go to bed, I know I wake up in the same bed oh. and I'm, it's still me. <laughs> and you're, you're pretty sure about that. Yes, no, I'm pretty sure. Every nine years you plan you're going to wake up in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> and I, I'll have breakfast and so on. But that night I know I'm not quite sure. And I seem to have the choice. Um, and I knew, well, maybe this is the thing you want, not the me, but you want. And, um, but I, um, I took the other choice. I did. Which was? Um, I want to wake up. No, Just no. Oh, I, say, I know that one, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's very similar to what we're talking about here. It's a sort of glimpse, in a way, of, of, an, of something other. Yeah. And there's a sense somewhat, sometimes, I know somebody else who sort of one day had the choice to continue or not. Yeah? No, really. Felt they had. And I think that in their opinion was, oh, I don't play the game. But, no, I know that. There's a sort of sense of this, what we're talking about. Yeah, and um, you, um, it can't be right when there is such panic, something wrong. Panic. Panic, yeah. Um, well, I think me panics with this, you know, me, mm -hmm. in this room right now, me is quietly panicking. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe next time I, maybe I'll try to say, okay, never mind what happens. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. but in a way, there's nothing you can do about it anyway. Yeah. yeah. Lie back and enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. There's no answer. No answer. There's no recommendation. Mm -hmm. But this mad happening is just normal. <laughs> well, it depends what you mean by normal. <laughs> it can a lot of people get glimpses of this. Mm -hmm. Lots of people. I'm sure there are a lot of people in this room who've had a waiting. And even maybe I don't know that. But, but, but there are glimpses. Mm -hmm. But how can I be so silly? How so, can I be so silly to have a glimpse and not to say yes, okay? Oh, easily. <laughs> because it's got nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. Glimpsing, you don't glimpse. And what happens to you and your reaction to it is completely meaningless. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. It's fine. You will react one way or people will react one way or the other. That you didn't miss anything. You didn't miss it. You can't miss anything. It's this. How can you miss this? Yeah, there was the, the fear that I cannot control anything anymore. Oh, no, yeah. that's right, you can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's not nice. Yeah. No, it's not nice for me, because my me is very strongly in control. That's why I want to know everything and be aware of everything. That's why I like the other side, just uh, um, recognizing the illusion of the me. That's what I said in the beginning, I like this way, but no. I didn't like the way I experienced. No. So I, next time I would prefer... <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a book the other day or whatever. I 
guarantor. For me, it's, this is unacceptable, really. But it is, uh, you know, absolutely right, yeah, it is unacceptable also because it's the most frightening thing that could happen to me. Just up there watching me 
not all the time that it seemed to be out there watching me. It's enough, it's, um, it's a sort of sense for something else, but it's not something else. It still is a functioning in the story. So if because the trouble is, a lot of people think that's some magic, so they then turn it into what they call presence of awareness. There are a lot of teachers around who teach self inquiry and they try to help you, they try to get you to develop what they call presence of awareness, and then you live in that for the rest of your life, and everything is like a bullshit, of course, right in the end. But, but the, the, I think there's a, you know, an attraction to this idea that there is something sort of above the human element that watches everything and knows everything. It's like a sort of ersatz god. What's, so, what, what's ersatz god? Well, an artificial god. It's like becoming godlike and know, knowing everything. And everything arises in my knowing all this awareness, this present awareness. But don't, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. How is it clear that it's not another trigger for me that that this is this is it? I mean, but <laughs> well, it's just nothing is clear. I mean, there is of course a difference between being identified with me or I don't know how to find the words. Well, you can say there's a difference. Yes, it's the end. It's the collapse of the illusion of imprisonment. So the difference is you can say freedom, but it's not freedom for anyone. It's just freedom. Mm -hmm. If you want, well, no words can express this. It can't be known. You know, if it could be known, you could put it into a word. The nearest I can get to it is the difference is imprisonment or freedom. But the imprisonment is for someone and the freedom is for no one. If there's no one to know anything, how can you be sure that this is not no, a trick no, of no, me? There's no, forget being sure. <laughs> I mean, it's very interesting. I've been reading some um, people who teach self-inquiry recently, and they're absolutely certain. First of all, they're certain that they exist, which is sweet, because it's actually just self-consciousness, actually. It's just another form of it, and it's so weird. And they're also sure, you know, that all there is is present awareness or knowing. They, they know that there's only knowing. They're absolutely certain of that. When, when liberation comes, there isn't anything that's certain. There isn't anything that's left. Shit. I know. Shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 that's what the seeker is fine. So that's why the seeker goes on seeking for an object for the person in their life, because it feels much safer.
So there isn't really anything you can hold at God. You all have questions? Yes. Um, me is absolutely connected with stories. But it is story. Me is story and is connected with uh, surrounding stories, religion and all these things. And sometimes I wonder what happened to you, <laughs> to your brain with this story thinking. You okay. cannot get involved anymore in any story. Well, no, it's quite apparent here that the story is just that. It's an appearance. It's only appearing as a story. So it has no power anymore. It's just another thing that yes. appears to be happening and is not weird. But the brain is only a computer. The brain goes on computing away, regardless of me or not. Yes, but in, in another way. I sometimes get involved in the story and then I get out of it. What, what was that? It's just illusionary. This change. Yeah. It, for me, it wouldn't get involved in the story because me and the story are both the same thing. Me can only live in the story. Mm -hmm. when, it, when that collapses, it's quite obvious that the, the story is like everything else, simply in appearance. Yeah, it doesn't have any reality. Mm. It's just like well, something watching it, that, well, it just happens. Mm. The things. brain can function within that apparent story. The brain goes on functioning. Yeah, sure. Like the story. <laughs> you could say that walking into a restaurant and ordering spaghetti is a story. Of course, there's nobody in it anymore. It's an apparent story. Um, the brain can order spaghetti and, and then apparently pick up a fork and eat it. But all of that is meaningless because actually nothing's happening. <laughs> <laughs> That's the freedom. Mm -hmm. That's the freedom. So, so everything that arises is completely new. And that, that's the, you could say, but there isn't any plea in it, that's the in loveness with the, the freedom of there not being one, because everything is just that, what it is. Very simple and ordinary. But functioning still apparently happens. But now, of course, it has no significance. And also some ideas. Uh, yeah. Stories that it's another way of looking at stories. Mm -hmm. Just uh, like films, maybe films right. you see watching the, in the kino or in the TV. Oh, TV. Yeah. yeah, but there isn't something watching a film. This is not the same as something watching a film, mm -hmm. because then you'd be separate. There'd be something that was separate. But mm -hmm. this is what, in a sense. Self inquiry does, it becomes detached. It's a, it creates a sort of detachment. So you live in an ivory tower and watch life happening. Forget it. That's just another game of the moon plays, of being safe. I'm now in an ivory tower, I'm a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but there's nothing like that. All there is is spaghetti. All there is is sitting on the seat. There's nothing doing. It's very, very ordinary and very natural. <coughs> so there's nothing you can get hold of here. Don't try and touch anything out. Um, <laughs> my chef, you know, there is no one no or well, there's nothing out. Just forget it. You don't need to remember anything. You don't need to help. You don't need to get anywhere or go anywhere. You can't get this right or wrong. What you long for is, is what is. You can't escape from what is. That's all there is. When you get out and walk out of here, that's what is. When you put the key in the door, that's what is. When you think about whether this is absolute nonsense or might be acceptable, that's what is. But, but also, what we're trying to point to is What's being pointed to here is it's about something very ordinary, like moving your finger, scratching your knee, or yawning, or sitting on a chair. It's not about some colossal abstract notion. What you long for is immediately what is. Immediately just what is. 